She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a Pokemon sales data video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello to Dashi. So news on the Trophy Kangaskhan is that I am looking to go at the PWCC route. Um, unfortunately, it's an 8% consignment uh, for PWCC. So let's say I sell it for 300000 at PWCC. Well, what's 8 times 3? It's $24,000 that has to go to uh, PWCC. CC. So even if I sell for three hundred thousand before taxes, I only get two hundred seventy-six thousand. So um, I will put on PWCC at the marketplace at a large number, um, or not not at the marketplace at, at the actual vault as a large number. Um, pay for probably three fifty. But again, uh, PWCC has that bigger, larger audience, and it's already was going to be one hundred forty-five thousand dollars less than the cheapest one on eBay. Again, outside of mine, four twenty. Um, anyway, outside of that. Um, just letting you guys know the consignments for, uh, for PWCC are worth it, I think, un unless you're having a huge card where you have to pay tens of thousands of dollars to them. But, moving on. Blaine's Arcanine, first edition PSA 9, only $600. Wow. I should get some more of those. Uh, then we have a, uh, Gold Star Charizard PSA 9, $5,101. A Dark Charizard PSA 9. These are all first edition, unless I say otherwise. Obviously, Gold Stars, there are no first editions, um, at least in English. Uh, Dark Charizard PSA 9 uh, from Rocket Set, $810. Now we have another Gold Star Charizard. This is a PSA 8, so for $2,330. And usually the 9s for Gold Stars, they sell for about double of what the 8 is. So this kind of makes sense. If the 9 was 5000 this is about twenty three three. then you're, yeah, it's only about a couple hundred dollars off, or less than $200 off for it to be about half. So it makes sense. We have a Lapras PSA 9 from Fossil Set, sold for $274. Another Lapras, $280. And then we have a Blaine's Charizard. Get the fudge out of here. It's a first edition PSA 9, and the lower end we've seen at about $1,500, maybe even $14, but this one sold for $1,150. Wow, for first edition PSA 9. Again, if I was in a buying mood for Pokemon right now, I, it kills me that I have to sell during, during you know, a, a buyer's market. Um, but that's what I have to, that's what I have to do. Uh, again, if, 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 if this were, I don't even care if it was a seller's market, um, right now, uh, if I wasn't putting everything into Bitcoin, Omi, and, and Earth 2, I, I would be, that, that's, that's too low. That is stupid low, in my opinion. We have another Charizard, is a first edition PSA 7, sold for 528. Now, the 9s usually sell for about double what the 8s do, and there's no way an 8 is getting, even if an 8, let's say, gets $600, you know, 7 gets 528, so that 9 is very, very low. Because they have the 7 at 528, which I think might be a little high, because the 8s usually go for like 800, give or take. I have seen 8s go as high as 1100, just because Charizards at one point were like 2200, you know, PSA 9. Um, but the 7s, I don't think, have been that high. So the 8s are usually, again, between 8 and 900. Oh, God, what did I do? Um, hopefully that, yes, that worked. So they go between 8 and 900, and uh, that 9 is just too low, in my opinion. Again, there's probably something wrong with that, um, and that's why I got that low number. So a Lapras uh, from, again, Fossil Set was 230 So we had 274 280 230 and then another one sold for $252. There is a, a Lapras PSA 9s. There's just so many of them because there's not a lot of 10s. The 10s are very, very rare. It's a very hard card to grade. I had one that I had Pack Fresh. Gets a 9. Uh, they, they, just, they just do that. Uh, oh, we have a Neo Genesis. Uh, pack. It's a first edition. It was PSA 10, so the, the pack was actually graded, and it got $1,105. Uh, Typhlosion artwork. The artwork on there is T18, not the T17, but either way, it's still really cool. The fact that one of them gets, you know, 1100 is nice. Uh, and then we have a, a really big one. This was SM Pratt's. Not his, but he did the auction with this. It was a... Uh, gold, it was a trophy Pikachu, the gold Pikachu for the second tournament, and it was, uh, it was, it was the gold one. You know, there's the gold, silver, and bronze, and it was a PSA seven, and the PSA seven sold for one hundred twenty-eight thousand nine hundred dollars. Now these are one of the only ones that I think actually are rarer and more special than my trophy Kangaskhan. You have the illustrator that's the top, then you have these three. You have the uh, Pikachu's for the gold, the silver, and the, you know the first, second, and third place, and and they're. They're above the Trophy Kangaskhan because they're so rare that the, 
Pikachu is like chibi. He's like a little, little fat Pikachu, like, ah, with the trophy. It's so cute. It's so adorable. A lot of history with that. So, for, and a PSA 7. The grade at that point doesn't really matter like it would on a Trophy Kangaskhan, even though we had a PSA 4 Trophy Kangaskhan sell for $40,000 in January. And that's a PSA 4. I think the PSA 9 got over 100, uh, like 110,000. Um, so, so, yeah, the fact that it's a PSA 7 uh, getting $128,900. Um, the PSA 8 probably get a little more, but again, at that high level, because there's so few of them, the grade doesn't really matter. It's uh, Whenever one comes up, it's going to get a record price point, just because of the fact that they're so rare. Um, whereas Trophy Kangaskhan, yes, each time one has gone on sale, it has gotten a new record price point. Um, so if I were to sell, or now let's say an auction, it would probably get 250 you know, just at auction from my own eBay page. If we do an auction like Heritage Auction or PWCC, it'd probably get a lot higher, just because it, they have such a wider audience than just me. And uh, I, I guarantee you SM Pratt would talk about it. Everyone would be talking about that. Uh, I'd be shared on Instagram multiple times. And yeah, so, so that's just my, uh, that is just my, my take on that. Moving on, we have a Jungle Flareon PSA 9, sold for 385. We have a, oh, this is interesting, a Sky Ridge Alakazam Hollow, but a BGS 9.5. Sold for seven thirty nine. You don't really see too many Sky Ridge BGS cards. Um, Aquapolis BGS uh, Umbreon nine point five, one thousand fifty dollars, which is great. Oh, we got a big water boy. We got a Blastoise PSA nine. Five thousand forty nine dollars. That's really low in my opinion. Again, I was con almost contracted to buy a Blastoise first edition PSA nine from base set for twenty thousand dollars in the uh, you know b back last year. Thankfully, I didn't do it because. Uh, I think, but uh, again, that would have been a long-term thing. Had I paid for it at that point, and then it goes down to five thousand now, I might even buy another one. And honestly, that's so low for PSA nine. Because uh, again, in the future, I see these just going much, much higher. Again, just my opinion, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. We've got Sabrina's Gengar PSA nine uh, sold for five hundred forty dollars. That's from Jim Hero set. Venusaur PSA nine first edition three thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Crystal Needle King. This is one of my favorite from the Aquapolis set. It looks so good. PSA 10, $2,000. I remember when you can get those for like $700. Yeah, insane. Uh, and we have a, from Probstein123 on eBay, it was an auction, Lugia PSA 9, sold for $4,150. This is the biggest difference I see with the PSA 10 and the PSA 9. The PSA 10, or, or BGS 10, get hundreds of thousands, of you know, over 100,000, where the 9 gets literally 5% of that. The 10 is 20 xing what the 9s are, so I think the 9s are, are very, very undervalued, in my opinion. Again, it's my opinion. Uh, then we have a normal Gengar from Fossil, PSA 9, sold for $290. I think that's a little low. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that is it for me today. I love you. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye, Deshi. Bye-bye, Deshi. I love you guys. Bye. Meow, 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 meow.